Hello everyone, my name is Oishiki. At first I would like to say that please kindly subscribe my channel. So today I am going to read part 10 of Oliver Twist. Written by a very famous writer that is Charles Dickens. And yes, I would also like to inform that the ones who want to watch Oliver Twist part 9. They can get the video link from description box. So now let's begin with our story. A Curious Tale Dr. Looseburn took Oliver back to his friends in the country. And for a long time, the boy was very sad. Oliver could not believe there would be a happy ending to his search. But... There was. Three months later, Dr. Lewisburn took Oliver to London again and Rose Manley came with them. They were all delighted to discover that Mr. Brownlow returned and was very anxious for the news of Oliver. The old gentleman greeted Oliver warmly and Mrs. Bedwin, the housekeeper, hugged him and kissed him joyfully. When all the greetings were over and Oliver was well occupied telling Mrs. Bedwin of his adventures, Rose asked Mr. Brownlow if she could see him alone, for she had a secret to confide. Mr. Brownlow took Rose to a quiet room, where she told him a very curious tale. A day or two before, a witched young lady called Nancy had come to see Rose at her hostel in London. Nancy told Rose about a man called Monks who had come to Fragon's house a few days earlier. While Nancy was there, Fragon and Monks knew each other already for they had planned the burglary at the house where Rose lived with Mrs. Manley. Fragon took Monks off to another room and Nancy, listening at the door, overheard them talking of Oliver. Monks said that Oliver was his younger brother and he wanted Fragon to arrange to have him killed so that he could get his hands on the boy's fortune. I heard monks mention your name, miss. Nancy had explained nose. And where? You were staying in London. That's how I knew where to find you. Then Nancy began to cry bitterly. Please, miss, don't let darling Oliver come to any harm. I will give my own life to save him. Honest, I would. But what can I do? Rose had protested. How can I find this dreadful Mr. Monks? I can help you, Nancy promised. If you will find a gentleman to help and protect you, I will tell you where monks can be found. Where shall we meet you? asked Rose. On London Bridge. I will be there every Sunday night. Between... Eleven and midnight, 
Nancy said. Mr. Brownlow was astonished and intrigued by Rose's story. There's a mystery here, right enough, he said. Nancy is taking a great risk for Oliver's sake. She's a brave soul, he muttered. The thieves and criminals who are at her companions will surely kill her if they discover that what she had done. Still, he went on, we cannot let this chance slip by. Oliver's fortune and his life are at stake. We must meet this girl and learn all we can from her. So story ends here. In my next video, I am going to read part 11 that is the meeting. If you liked my today's video, then please like and comment my video. And also subscribe my channel to listen to more such stories. And also to follow all my videos regularly. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.